Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Chaos Fun, and welcome to City Skylines 2, a Right Everywhere tutorial for text, for 2D structures, and for images. That's what I want to show you today in 10 minutes. So you will be able to create your own signs and images. Okay, first we need the Right Everywhere mod from the PDX Mods page, of course. Okay, and then we want to create a first sign, a city sign for Carson. Because we are in my city of Carson from my Chaos Hill series. And of course we need a structure where we can put our sign on. I thought we can take this gantry. There is a gantry pack as well on PDX Mods. I will link this pack in the description so you can use it too. Let's put two of those guys together. We need some mods like Anarchy and Move to make this work. I will link all the mods in the description as well. So let's bring this sign maybe up to the wide sidewalk where it fits best and then we can sink it into the ground so the pedestrians can pass under it still and with this mod there comes only one font we want a new font we want a sentry gothic in this example i show you how we can import new fonts let's find a font for example on this home page you can download this font and then we go to city skylines 2 mods data clyde's mods and right everywhere and then we create a fonts folder and just put it into this folder. So now we put the TTF document into the fonts folder and before we can use it we have to open the right everywhere mod, go to city fonts, import our font, press ok and then we can use it in our game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, what do you say? Okay, great. And now we want to create our site. Let's press Ctrl Shift W. And then we select any building or prop, whatever you want. We want, of course, this gantry. So we click it and then we click on this plus to add a new empty root. And there we have it. We have a text and it is somewhere hidden. And if you can find it, press this camera symbol and we can see it's hidden in the ground. There's no problem, we have to adjust the height. And so we can move this horizontal or vertical however we need it. Just try it out and there we have it. We have our new text floating in the air. We just adjust it to our sign. We have to figure out how it fits best there we go for now this is fine and then we can of course change the text we change it up for Carson our city name and there we go and then we can go to the text font and change this font to the century gothic and it changes the font immediately isn't this great and you can of course change the size of the font as well but there we go that's a little too big 900 let's try something smaller maybe like 90 or 80 yeah you can try it out it changes immediately in the game it's great so this is fine I think and now we continue by adding our 2d structure to create design we go again to add node add a new empty root and this time we change it up from content type text to white texture there it is, the new content type is white texture. Then we have a basic square. It's again hidden in the ground, I guess. So let's bring it up. We can rename it if we want. We can call it sign 01 and bring it up. There we go, there it is. And this will be our sign, the background of Carson. We can first adjust it and then we need to change, of course, the size. You can see it's at the moment 100 by 100 and we just have to figure out which the right size is let's go in and change the width to 500 and the height maybe to 200 something like this we can play around with this and try it out which fits best
Okay, great. We have adjusted our sign, our background. And now we want another sign. You will see in a minute why. So let's create another empty root. We do this again. This time we can call it maybe, I don't know, it doesn't matter really. Let's call it sign 01B or something like this. And this is fine. It doesn't matter really. It's okay. So we have sign 1 and we have sign 1B. And then we change again the content type from text to the white texture. So let's go in. There it is, white texture. And then we also have a white square hidden in the ground again. And then we make this one slightly smaller than our sign 01. Bring it up again. And we will then do something different. We will change the color. And we can do this, for example, a nice darkish green. Because that's the standard North American sign color, I guess. So let's find a good color. I think this is all right. Yeah, let's use this. So you saw the color palette button there. We can close it and we can again adjust the height of this guy and we just bring it a smidge before the white sign and then we have a nice white frame around the green square there we go and this looks much better than without the white frame i've tested this then we just go back to our text to carson and adjust the text as well and then our first sign is already done and it only took us five minutes that's easy right so let's do some minor adjustments and then we're done okay and this is the first part of the video now you can do your own signs and if you like what you see please give this video a like and if you feel pretty kind today leave subscription to my channel that would be so cool thank you so much guys and now let's continue to part two and the second part of this video i want to show you how to import images into the game i want to add another door to this fast food joint i use the website pixabay for images let's find some doors under vectors you can download them for free let's find a nice double door maybe for this case we want to maybe make a staff entrance or something like this just to show you how it works so let's download this door we go back to our usual folders the mods data and the right area folder this time to image atlases we can add this png to the image atlas and then we can import it into the game but before we can use it there's one thing we need to do first we need to update the image atlas folder to the right every mod we go to options scroll down to right everywhere and then we refresh all sprites and then all our images which are in this folder get an update and this mod can now find those images so let's get back to the game let's press ctrl shift w select this fast food joint this building we create again an empty root and as you can imagine we now have to take the content type image and i've created another folder in the image atlas folder which I renamed to doors. So I now can put all my doors into this folder, but that's not necessary. I just done it. So there it is, there's my doors folder. And then we can choose all images from those order. We have only this one. And now it is there somewhere hidden. Let's find it. I guess we have to adjust the place again. And there we go, this time it has the wrong rotation so we have to rotate it by 90 degree which isn't a problem there is the rotation tab and we can change it up and now it has the right angle we just again bring it into the right place where we want to have it so let's bring it down a little bit bring it back a little bit and then you can already spot our next problem it's a little too small, right? So 
we can change this. We can change the size of this image under the base height. There we go. We doubled up the size. It looks fine. It looks like the right size. And now we have it in place in the right size. And this is as easy as it is. Important images to our good old City Skylines game. So this is my first quick tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you understand it. I put everything in the description you need. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you want to see another tutorials, let me know as well. And if you want to support me, you can do this by becoming a YouTube member of my channel. It's only 99 cents. That would help a lot. Thanks so much, guys. I hope I see you back here in my series Chaos Hills or anywhere else. Have a good one. Bye bye.